ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paulson has told you that the testimony of Sar Tobias is not. Sar Tobias was raped. That is not. She was caught and bruised and terrorized. That is not. All of it happened in front of a holy crowd. And that is not. Well, it may be nothing to Mr. Paulson, but it is not nothing to Sarah Tobias, and I don't believe it is nothing to you. Next. Mr. Paulson tried to convince you that Kenny Joyce was the only person in that room who knew that Sarah Tobias was being raped. The only one. Now, you watch Kenny Joyce. How did this happen? Did he seem especially sensitive? Especially disturbed? Did he seem so remarkable that you immediately said to yourselves, Of course, this man would not speak, so other people wouldn't. Do you believe that Penny Joyce saw something those three men didn't see? In all the time that Sarah Tobias was being held down on the people machine, the others did. Kenny Joyce confessed to you that he watched our rape and did nothing. He told you that everyone in that bar behaved badly, and he was right. But no matter how immoral it may be, it is not a crime of criminal solicitation to walk away from a rape. It is not a crime of criminal solicitation to silently. What shall we? But it is the crime of criminal solicitation to induce or entreat or encourage or persuade another person to commit a rape. Hold her down. Stick it to her. Make her moan. These three men did worse than nothing. They cheered, and they clapped, and they rooted the others on, made sure that Sar Tobias was raped, and raped, and raped. Now, tell me, is that nothing? The accused, right to